CVA's Acura Series, Bagara barrels for guaranteed accuracy, nitride for guaranteed rust proofing, and a rifle guaranteed to be the best muzzle loader you've ever shot. CVA, it's just a better gun. All right, welcome back everyone. This week's Pictures of the Week being brought to you by Flowers Garden Center. And I happen to know they're getting the, the flats and everything laid out with soil and all that. So the seeds will be going in soon. 4550 Eaton's Creek Road though. Uh, guys, keep that in mind because uh, when springtime gets here, make mama happy so you can fish longer. <laughs> <laughs> and more off flowers than that. <laughs> That's right. All right, our first fisher here tonight, this is Micah Falk. This is a bass that he said he actually caught back in July on a super hot day off of Normandy. So I was to say, fish. he ain't been fishing lately. Yeah, he <laughs> dressed said, like yeah, that. Yeah, said, said that, that was uh, in July. So that's probably about what he should have been yeah, wearing in July. Yeah. Uh, all right, now this, this picture here, this is Don Chandler Jr.'s granddaughter, Jordan, with her very first bass she ever caught. Awesome. So congratulations to Jordan really? on that bass. And here we have, this is Beth Pierce Jones, and this is her personal best. Uh, bass that she caught this past year. It's a five pound, four ounce largemouth caught off of Old Hickory Lake. So, congratulations to yeah. her on that fish. Uh -oh. And look, we had to get this one in there tonight. There it went. Now this, it went to my room. This is Richard James. Yep. And uh, with a beautiful fish off the Cumberland River. And since his arm made it into a picture yeah. last week and he didn't get in the picture, we uh, thought we, we would wanted do to this. throw him a bone this week and get a picture of him in there. But congratulations to him on that fish. We've, we've heard the stories of those fish. Richard, and, just send your check to us here <laughs> in Southern Woods and Waters. Yeah, just 474, <laughs> James Robertson. But uh, no, congratulations on that. And y'all, you can send your pictures to us here at the studio at 474 James Robertson Parkway or just send them to me on Facebook or Instagram and I'll right. get them here just as quick as I can on we'll the show. Do it. All right, we have with us tonight, we have Josh Lovell with Expo South and Tommy Colley. And Tommy's going to be doing some seminars on electronics, hummingbird electronics. And so we're looking forward to that. And is it going to be Friday and Saturday or all three days? Or? Uh, be honest with you, Hugh, I've been so busy, I don't know what they got you don't even know what you're I don't know what, right. I just, I just got here. I was, yeah. I was telling everybody while ago, I was, I was singing with Guy Clark while ago coming in here because I didn't know if I was going to get off this Nashville freeway in time, you know, but uh, but I made it and uh, they probably got me doing something at least Tommy once will be doing one on uh, Friday, two on Saturday, and one on Sunday. And now you know. Now you know. <laughs> <coughs> we'll let you know what time. Okay, do that <laughs> yeah. when you can. He's been there all day. Be I'll ready. be there. I will be there. Yeah, I think that we're going. I can talk to him about walleye fishing. We our walleye's back over there, hot and and just whatever they'd like to know as well about anything fishing A to Z. But electronics is what I'm going to concentrate on. And we're going to have the cricket rocket. Oh yeah. Back again, uh, of course. So a stable cricket rocket and uh, talk about that and. Uh, and uh, I was going to tell you, our bunch over there has got some uh, some uh, mile two those mile two boats or those new engine new pontoons yeah. are selling. Uh, yeah. uh, I was trying to get to where I could pronounce that thing there, uh, but they're uh, we're selling those supers and and those moombas and some landows as well. And uh, they I, I can fill in on all that, but but stop by the booth and visit with me if you're if you're in the, over there and miss a seminar. I can. Uh, I've got new catalogs. I'm in Bird, Minn Dakota, and uh, we'll try to help you be a better fisherman and learn go. how to read those electronics. Oh yeah. yeah. Hugh, what's that new aluminum boat that's at the show this year? That Clark's Dex Marina is. Yeah. Yep. 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 That's going to be a uh, one that everybody's going to want to see. Cause, yep. Because it's I brand saw, new. I saw one today for the first time. And it's, then it's a. Uh, it is. Well, I saw some new dealerships on my way out here this afternoon on this end of town there here. It seemed like they is. were brand new. Well, there I knew this year's uh, Cookville Marine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I know uh, CNO, they have a Ranger boat that's only been seen in magazines mm -hmm. that he was telling me about today. Really? Mm -hmm. um, There's all kinds of new things coming out. You know, every hour. Every hour. <laughs> uh, every hour something's coming out. In, uh, in, in the fishing industry, in the hunting industry. Yes. And that's just how people are keeping up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You, know, you just got to. Uh, it's a full-time job for Brandon and I to keep up with what's well, going on. Well, this all social media is so hard oh. 
to Jeez. by yourself. You yes, yeah. you can't do it. I mean, can't you can, it. but it, you like him, you ain't gonna get no sleep. No, no. and <laughs> we don't want to give out false days. information, so we have to investigate, exactly. and look into, and, exactly. You know, you can't just put something out there and right. go, "Oh, this is gospel," because it might not be. Uh, we've we've tried that we stuff hear a before. Lot of we hear a that, lot that. Uh, that is gospel a lot of the mm. <laughs> you got to watch out for the difference in that for sure. But there's a, I want people to understand that you come to this show. Uh, you and know, it's real. You can learn from yeah, real people. Free parking, by the way. Right. Yep. Free parking. Yeah. Uh, just come on out to the show. It is a, there is a, a door fee, of yep. course. you got to make some money you, or you can't put these things on. Come on, right. you got to know that. And then... Uh, but all the the vendors are out there. The vendors are going crazy. I understand because they're saying it's so well laid out. It looks great. It's a good flow. Uh, people are proud of their their yep. booths now. Uh, they look neat. Uh, it's in an indoor facility. Well, this is the first time I've been to this venue yeah, I know. over here, and uh, so I'm really excited about it myself. And what kind of grub so the first we got? Biscuits that's what, are on you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But I, it is something new, though. Right. It's a nice facility. Nice restrooms. Well, my own star took me to it. Uh, trying to get to my motel for some reason, <laughs> and I saw it. I said, "Well, that's got to be it." You know, that's it does. It's a nice laid out way where it's at. Easy in, easy out, whole nine yards. Yeah, and I want people to know it's easy, easy access in and out. Right. Uh, you don't have to. Uh, there's no hassles there. Right. You just drive in and drive out. It's got easy parking. Just find your place and park. There's not really any restricted that I saw other than the loading bay. Yeah, and right. try to stay out of the grass. There, yeah, there's a lot of people last year. And, uh, yeah. End up in the grass in some places, and that's not a good idea this time of year. So, but if you do, call me because I charge twenty five dollars. <laughs> twenty five dollars. <laughs> Sign the woods of water. You will have to sign yeah, away. Sign the woods of water towing service. Yeah. Sign away, and we'll come get you. <laughs> that's right. Uh, but there's a lot of things going out there. Uh, anybody special new this year that's coming in? We got a bunch of new tackle dealers this year. Good. I mean, we have ninety one different vendors this year. Good yeah. Yes. It's more than we had last year at the new venue. Yes. Uh, you know, you still have your old people, Fish Ranger, B and R, Poe Boy, um, Primary Tackle out of Memphis mm -hmm. is there. Mm -hmm. You know, Miss Heimer's she'll be at yep. the show. Miss Heimer uh, with Poe Boys she's yep. she's a, a staple. There's a Pickwick boys coming? Which ones? Oh, uh, that's by me now. <laughs> the brothers. I'm over at Pickwick. I don't know. There's a bunch of them. Yeah. But, I mean, it's more tackle than I think I've ever seen at the shows. And it's not just tackle either. I want to tell everybody, of course, the boats are there. Right. And you got all your major boat dealers are there. Uh, and and they're their own premises. So you can, if you got any questions, they can easily answer them. Uh, they're right there, easy accessible to that. Uh, but I wanted to point out, even if you're a turkey hunter, we got turkey season right around the corner. Right. Uh, come by so those works. Prime one's Prime gonna, one's be, gonna there. be there. And if you really want to see a camouflage that'll work, these are, are Tennessee born and bred uh, camouflage. You get to meet the creator. Yeah. It's a female and she is fantastic. Her name's Stacy Walker. And uh, she's going to be there answering any questions you might have. You're going to love her camouflage. Well, the first time I, I, I went to uh, Mark invited me over the show here in Nashville. When the uh, first day of the show, it reminded me of a show on the East Coast. But if so, so much there, and you know, because there's some big shows out there. Oh yeah. And uh, this is it just fits right the bill right in among it, you know. Well, Tennis, I use you can say what you want to, and, and, and I'm not picking on Arkansas or anything, Tommy. Right, but right. Tennessee, That's I got to tell you, it's got some of the best sticks in the world right here in Tennessee. Oh yeah, yep. within the confines of the state boundaries yeah. of Tennessee, you got some of the finest fishermen that have ever been around, and fisher ladies. Yeah, we got some fantastic fisher ladies yep. here. There's a lot of water here to fish. We well, all fish right. have the classic here, here before long here as well. I, I wonder what all this water, it, in the way it's looking, y'all going to keep all of this water too. We're going to keep all the water. I think it's going anywhere. And I'm going to tell you right. something else that's really helped us, Tennessee especially, is the high school programs and yes. the college programs. We have 
Bethel University. Gary Mason yes. has done a phenomenal job with Bethel University. Well, they did real well. Did they not win the championship this last year? Whatever yeah. I read. Yeah. yeah, and I'm, but they're in the running every year. Yes. They're in the top two or three every year. Right, right. Yeah, I read a little side you know, deal uh, on that that he what the, he had done with that program. Yeah. So, uh, you know, kudos to, to Gary Mason and that that whole school system. They're behind that fishing team a thousand percent, not just a hundred percent, but a thousand percent. Right. And you know, you can tell. And we got other colleges that are keying in on just that same enthusiasm. And now you're starting to see kids that didn't think that they were sport minded because they weren't built like a, a running back or they weren't built like a tight end or they weren't built like a, a, a middle linebacker. Right. They can do a sport now, have fun, get the, the, the recognition that they deserve and, and have a good fun doing it. They play yeah. smart. Yeah, they play <laughs> and, and learn electronics and, right. and presentations and all. Well, you that know, kind I've of done stuff. a lot of stuff at schools that go around yeah. years ago before this one. This was just getting off the ground, and let, and and some teachers had me come in and talk about all the different. You work on motors, you work on electronics, yeah. you can do all whatever. There's a gauntlet of arenas inside that one arena you can do something with. You know, if you if you're interested in that stuff. And we all. Yes. I mean, how many of us have ever been in a boat and it, it you know, it, something <laughs> clog up or something and you have to fix it no. while you're out there in the middle of Kentucky Lake? Right. <laughs> you know, you have to yeah. figure it out. Well, I feel like Chris Benziger said, he told me last week we were talking about my buddy Jack looking at a boat had a motor on it. I said, Jack, you don't buy boats with motors. And Chris said, Brandon, don't you know that all boats are paddle boats at some point? <laughs> at some point. <laughs> <laughs> so you got a good point. Well, you know, the old saying goes, there's two different kinds of outboards. The one's just blowed up, one's fixing blow up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, but they got great warranties on them though now. They do, <laughs> they they do, do. have that. They do. Some of them are a lot better than the cars we drive. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Guys, it's time to go over and do this week's product of the week. Our product of the week is being sponsored by Candy Fork Outdoors. Uh, you can see them at the Donaldson Plaza Shopping Center or right there at the Big Rock Market. This weekend, you can come see them right there at the Fishing Expo yeah. at the Wilson County Fairgrounds. That's right. So be sure to stop by and say hi to them. And, uh, so Are you going to show my shirt off? I'm going to show you shirt off. <laughs> our product of the week this week is one of our very own products, and uh, we're super proud of this one. Um, the, the folks over at Southeast Impressions, we worked with them, and they put these new shirts together for us. I'll show you the front end of them here. Uh, we don't have these available in our online store yet because we're going to offer them this weekend at the show for the first this is time our ever. introductory yes, offer. Yes, and we'll have them up on our Facebook store here in another week or so. But if you want to get in and get some of these, we've got several colors. So, you know, of course, we have the gray one with us tonight, but we've got uh, a blue. Carolina blue. And, uh, yeah, we've got we've got some nice looking shirts and a couple other new I things. I think Marcy came up with that color. She she came up with a lot. <laughs> she worked really hard on this. So um, definitely got to thank my wife for all the work that she put into it too so uh, but we're real proud of these everybody needs to get down and get one of them and we've got a, like I say some other new things we've got uh, some hats down there that's oh, yeah. for sale too so well before uh, we break and go, to, see us on that go to another break I want to thank Josh Lovell and Tommy Collier for coming on the show uh, it is always a pleasure to have both of you yes sir uh, well, Josh, you we, we're gonna have a great weekend oh yeah we're, gonna we're have ready a fantastic weekend we're going in with a positive enthusiastic attitude and uh Tommy, I'm going to be wearing Tommy, how do you do this? How do you do that? There you go. Well, come on. I'm ready for you. <laughs> but I tell you what, we're going to say bye to these two, and we got two more guests coming on here very shortly. So uh, let's take a break, and we'll be right back with more Southern Woods and Waters.